Thank you for choosing Express Shelf by Closetmade. In this video, we will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to properly install walk-in closet shelving using the Express Shelf shelf and rod system components. We will demonstrate the proper installation methods for wall-to-wall, wall-to-open, and corner configurations. And we will also be showing you how to install hardware and connectors for closet rods, corners, and longer length shelves. For this project, you will need the following tools. A tape measure, a pencil, a level, an optional drilling template, a Phillips screwdriver or power drill with a 6-inch long number 2 Phillips bit, a power saw with wood cutting blade, a tube cutter, hacksaw, and speed square or a miter saw with blades for cutting steel. Also, before you begin assembly, make sure you have all the parts you'll need. These include the shelf, the back wall channels, sidewall brackets, universal pole cups, shelf and rod angle brackets, closet rods, closet rod end caps, shelf trim, easy anchors with number 8 by 1 and a quarter inch flathead screws, stud screws, self tapping screws, and number 6 by 5 eighths inch flathead wood screws. We will also use these new parts, namely the corner rounder bar and the corner H channels for corner assemblies, straight H channel for joining two shelves, rod joiner for joining two closet rods, and last but not least, the shelf end caps for finishing an open end of a shelf. So now that we have everything, let's get started. We'll begin by securing the back wall channels into place. First, measure the length of each wall from corner to corner or end to end. Then, cut each back wall channel to the same length, with the corner ends miter cut at 45 degree angles so they match up like this. Another option would be to cut the channels into the appropriate lengths and abut them in the corners like so. Next, mark the desired height of the shelf and insert the anchor. With the anchor in place, you can now attach the back wall channel to the anchor with the screw. With the screw in place, swing the back channel up and make sure it is level. Next, mark the drill holes for the remaining anchors, about 10 to 12 inches apart, including the slots at each end. Stud mount at least two slots for any cut length or every 8-foot length of back wall channel. Insert the anchors and swing the back wall channels into place and secure with the screws. Remember to also stud mount a slot closest to the unsupported edge of a shelf. An unsupported edge of a shelf is any side or edge that is not fastened to the wall. This will include the open end of a shelf or edges connected to straight or corner H-channel shelf joiners. Repeat the process for the remaining back wall channels. Now, you're ready to install the sidewall bracket and pole cup. To begin installation of the sidewall bracket, insert the piece into place so that it connects to the back wall channel. Then, make sure the sidewall bracket is level and mark where your anchors will be positioned. Remove the sidewall brackets and insert the anchors like so. Finally, reposition the sidewall bracket and screw it into place. To install the universal pole cup, simply position and mark the drill hole locations. Insert the anchors and fasten. Now we're ready to install the shelf. For this demonstration, we have three shelves to install. One across the full length of the back wall, a second shelf with an open end on the left, and a third shelf across the full length of the wall on the right. We will begin by installing the back wall shelf first. You will need to measure the area and cut the shelf at least 5 8 inch shorter than the length of the wall, but no more than 1 inch shorter. Our back wall is approximately 11 feet in length. In this scenario, we will join two 65 and 1 half inch long shelves together. Slide the first shelf into the back wall channel and to the left. Then slide the second shelf into place. If you're installing shelving longer than 8 feet, like we are, you will need a straight H channel to join the two shelves together. Insert the shelf joiner between the two shelves. Attach the shelves to the back wall channel using number 6 by 5 8 inch flathead wood screws. Use at least 6 screws for every 8 feet of shelf. To complete this process, fasten the joiner to both shelves. Now for the two sidewall shelves. Measure and cut both shelves to size, allowing one eighth of an inch space for the corner H channel. Insert the cut shelf into the back channel. Insert the corner H channel between two shelves. Next, fasten and secure the shelf to the back channel. 
Then, secure the corner H channel to the shelf. Now, on to the next shelf. Slide the shelf onto the sidewall bracket and back channel. Then, insert the corner H channel between the two shelves. Then, fasten the shelf to the sidewall bracket and back channel using number 6 by 5 8 inch wood screws. Secure the corner H channel to the shelf. Now you are ready to install the shelf and rod support angle brackets. But first, here are some general rules for installing support angle brackets. One bracket is required to be installed to the nearest stud or no more than 15 inches from the open end of a shelf. One bracket is required to be installed on each side of the straight H channel to the nearest stud or within 15 inches from the H channel. Two brackets are required to support a corner rounder hang rod. And it's important to remember that brackets should be spaced evenly, no more than 32 inches apart and stud mounted whenever possible. Let's begin with the open end shelf. Once you've marked the position of the bracket to the nearest stud or within 2 to 15 inches from the open end, install the bracket by first inserting the anchor. Then reposition the bracket and secure it to the anchor. Finish by fastening the bracket to the shelf with number 6 by 5 8 inch wood screws. Next, mark the location of the brackets needed on both sides of the straight H channel. These must be positioned and fastened within 15 inches from the straight H channel to the nearest stud when possible. Let's move on to the corners. Marking the position of each bracket 21 inches from each corner wall. Follow by inserting the anchors to the wall. Then, fasten the brackets to the anchor and secure the brackets to the shelf with number 6 by 5 8 inch wood screws. Repeat these steps for the next corner. Install additional brackets as needed, evenly spacing them no more than 32 inches apart. Once all the brackets are installed, you are now ready to install the closet rods. The closet rod available is 120 inches in length, so it is likely that you will need to cut the closet rods to size. To determine the exact size in a reach-in closet, you can measure from pole cup to pole cup. In a walk-in closet, in addition to the universal pole cup, you may need to use additional parts, such as the corner rounder hang rod, the closet rod end cap, or closet rod joiner. Depending on which component the rod will mount or connect to, we will need to cut the closet rod shorter to accommodate the space required to fit these parts. Let's determine the closet rod lengths. Begin by measuring the wall. Each universal pole cup will need one quarter inch of space. A corner rounder hang rod needs 20 and 1 8 inches. Since our back wall closet rod will be connected to the corner rounder on both ends, it should be cut 40 and 1 quarter inch shorter than the length of the back wall. If you're terminating the closet rod with a hang rod end cap against a wall or panel, you will need to cut the closet rod 1 8 of an inch shorter to fit this piece. In the case where you need to connect two closet rods together, Use a hang rod joiner to attach the pieces and factor in 1 8 of an inch for the joiner. Seat the joiner piece on the support angle bracket cup. With all three rods cut to size, you can now begin the process of installing them. Install the first rod into the universal pole cup. Snap the rod onto the support angle brackets. Then, insert the corner rounder hang rod. Next, insert the rod along the back wall. With the rod in place, install the second corner rounder hang rod. For the last closet rod, insert the end cap and screw it tight. Insert the rod into the corner rounder hang rod and snap it into place. Finally, use self-tapping screws to secure the closet rod to the universal pole cup. Good news! We're almost finished! All we have to do now is add the finishing touches. Install shelf end caps to the open end of a cut shelf and screw the cap to the shelf using number 6 by 5 8 inch wood screws. Then finish off by inserting shelf trim over the shelf and sidewall brackets. Secure the trim to the shelf. Repeat the process as needed. And the job is complete. That was easy, wasn't it? The updated Express Shelf Shelf and Rod System from Closet Made with new corner rounders and joiners is now more functional and flexible than before. Express Shelf will meet your closet design needs for walk-ins, reach-ins, pantries, and more. 
Closets designed and installed with ClosetMade are durable and beautiful and will provide your homeowners with years and years of reliable use. Thank you for choosing ClosetMade. To learn more about other great products we offer, please visit us at ClosetMadePro.com.